to talk about why you should keep ownership to your artwork. And what I'm specifically talking about is why you should keep ownership to the copyrights of your work. And I touched on this a little bit yesterday. One thing that comes up again and again is a little bit of confusion that some artists have about why, um, that some artists have about how the, the ownership works. So basically you own the copyrights to your artwork from the moment you create it, whether or not you file through the US Copyright Office, you own it. Unless you create it while you're working for an employer or you create it for an employer, um, then they own it. And there's a few other exceptions. Another exception is if you sign the copyrights away. So when I talked about this yesterday, one of the artists asked me, how do you make sure you keep ownership to your copyrights? And it's very simple. Don't sign anything that transfers the copyrights to someone else. So if you, let's say somebody commissions you to create a piece of art, and let's say they direct what that looks like. Oh, I want a man holding a surfboard on a beach with the sunset, and I want it to look like it's San Clemente landscape. And then you create this piece of art. Who owns the rights to the artwork? You own the rights to the artwork. The buyer of the original piece, they just own the original piece and they can hang it on the wall, but that's all they can do with it. They don't have the rights to reproduce it. They don't have the rights to license it. They can't do anything else with it. Not unless they convinced you to sign a document saying that you're transferring rights to them. Now, sometimes companies will ask you to sign something. Let's say a company commissions a piece of art and they wanna use that to hang, uh, let's see, I'll give you an example. They, they, wanna, they, they, want to, they want you to create a piece of art and then they're gonna blow it up and put it in a hotel, on, on walls in a hotel. And you say, yeah, fine, this is how much it's gonna cost for me to send you that, the digital file of that artwork. Then they send you a document and they say, hey, before we can pay your invoice, we need you to sign this. That document may have language in it that transfers all your rights. So um, one thing that some of these documents will have is the words um, work for hire. If you ever see the words work for hire, don't sign it if you don't want to transfer all copyrights. It's a legal term that means that this was a work for hire and that everything you um, created for this client is now their property, which means you can never make prints of it. You can't print it in your future coffee table book. And technically, you can't even post pictures of it online without their permission. So many years ago, we got a call from a beer company. And I'm not gonna name the beer company, but let's just say they were a Rocky Mountain High company. And they said, we wanna hire Drew to paint a surfboard and we're gonna give the surfboard away to a winner at a surf contest. And we said, this sounds great. So they said, yeah, we're gonna provide you with the surfboard and we're gonna pay you $2,500 to paint it. And we were like, okay, that's pretty good. So they brought the surfboard to Drew and um, actually Drew didn't paint it. He was going to paint it and then they sent a contract by email and they said, we need Drew to sign this. And I said, that's kind of weird. He's just painting a surfboard. Why do you need this contract signed? Um, so I read the contract and in the contract it was a work for hire. And um, so I called them up and I said, hey, we're not signing this. Drew keeps all the copyrights to his art. What do you need him to sign this? You, you don't need the copyrights to it. All you're doing is giving this surfboard away at a surf contest. And then the truth came out. They said, oh, but we're also going to reproduce it onto 50 more surfboards. And we are going to print it on POP displays and it's going to be in liquor stores all across the country. 
I said, oh, this is a little different than, than painting a surfboard and giving a surfboard away. I said, so what you're asking for is like a massive licensing deal for a campaign, for like a, um, a sales campaign, a national sales campaign. So now instead of $2,500, you're really looking at like a $25,000 deal. Um, so needless to say, the deal fell through because they didn't want to pay what it was worth and we refused to give them the rights for a measly $2,500. Um, so what I want to encourage all of you to do is to question it. If somebody sends, if somebody's buying a piece of art from you or they're commissioning a piece of art or they're saying it's just for usage on a t-shirt or whatever, and then they send you a contract, don't, don't sign it until you know exactly what you're agreeing to. And if they want all rights and they plan on doing all this other stuff with it, find out how much that's worth before you give them the rights to do it. Thanks for joining me and I'm doing this again tomorrow at two o'clock Pacific Standard Time. If you have any questions, um, go to my Instagram feed and leave, leave the question in the comments on my last post. Thanks a lot, guys. Love you. Bye.